students and welcome parents. Today I am going to teach you English vocabulary and we are going to study rhyming words and opposite words. What are rhyming words students? Rhyming words are words that have similar ending sound. Their spelling and meaning both are different. For example, look at the board children. Now I am going to tell you few rhyming words. The first one. If I add C to this, what will it become? C-A-M-P, camp. And if I add D, what will it become? D-A-M-P, damp. So, camp and damp. Both have same ending sounds. But their meaning is different. The next one. O-U-N-T-A-I-N. -N. Now, if I add F to this, what will it become? F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Fountain. And if I add M to this, what will it become? Very good. M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Mountain. Fountain and mountain. Similarly, the next one, if I add W, what will it become? W-A-S-T-E, -E, waste. And if I add P, what will it become? P-A-S-T-E, -E, paste, waste and paste. The next one, if I add M, what will it become? M-A-N-N-E-R, manner. And if I add B, what will it become? B, A, double N, E, R, banner, manner and banner. The next one, if I add W, what will it become? W, O, O, D, wood. And the rhyming word for wood will be good. G, O, O, D, good, wood and Good. Now, let us do some exercises based on rhyming words. Complete each sentence below with a word from the box. Now, you can see there is a box and few words are written. You have to choose the correct word from the box and you have to complete the sentence. Number one. A word that rhymes with glitter is. So you need to find out the word that is rhyming with the word glitter. Now look, look children, glitter. So you have to find out the same ending sound of the word glitter. Litter. Yes. So you will write here litter. Glitter rhymes with litter. Number two, a word that rhymes with crop. Crop, the, now you have to find out the same ending sound for crop. Crop, drop. Very good. So you will write here, drop. Crop, drop. The next one, number three. A word that rhymes with thought is. Now look here children. Thought will rhyme with bought. Because they have the same ending sound. Very good. So you will write here bought. Number four. A word that rhymes with throw is. Now look here children. Throw will rhyme with crow because they have they have the same ending sound r o w r o w throw crow so you will write here crow number 5 a word that rhymes with catch is now look here children catch will rhyme with snatch very good because they have the same ending sound. A-T-C-H. 
Here also in catch you have A T C H and in snatch also you have A T C H. So catch will rhyme with snatch. So you will write here snatch. Catch, snatch. Now let us move on to another topic that is opposite words. Opposite words are different. They are not the same. Which means that a word that expresses a meaning opposite to the word that has another meaning which means that they are related but they are not the same now let me show you few examples look at this children you can see a box in my hand and you can see a handkerchief now, if I put this handkerchief inside this box, so this is inside the box and if I take it outside, if I take the handkerchief outside the box, so it is outside. So, inside and outside, they are opposite words. Similarly, the next example. What you can see in this picture, students? Whisper. You can see a boy whispering in a girl's ear. You can see a boy whispering in a girl's ear. Now, the opposite of whisper will be shout. You can see this boy shouting. So, the opposite of Whisper will be shout. Now, let us see another examples, students. What you can see in this picture, students? You can see a happy face. When you all are happy, students, when someone gives you gifts or chocolates, are you happy? Yes, you all feel happy. And when do you feel sad, students? When someone scolds you, do you feel sad? Yes. So, the opposite of happy will be sad. Now, let us do some exercises based on opposite words. Look here, children. Write the opposite of the underlined word. So, you can see few words are underlined. You have to write the opposite of these words. Number one, I felt dash and cozy sitting by the fire. So, what will be the opposite of cool children? The opposite of cool will be warm. Very good. So, the answer will be I felt warm and cozy sitting by the fire. Number two, her hair was red and dash. So, the opposite of straight will be curly. So, you will write down curly. Very good. Number three. The TV play was based on dash life. In the bracket, it is written unreal. So, the opposite of unreal will be real. Number four. He always yells at me when he is dash. And the word which is underlined is pleased. So you have to write down the opposite of the word pleased. What will be the opposite of pleased? Angry. Yes. Number five. I forgot my key dash my room. What is written here? Outside. So, the opposite of outside will be inside. I forgot my key inside my room. Very good. So, students, I hope you understood whatever I taught you today. Related to these, worksheets will be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through it and study properly. Thank you students.